can a 20 minute drive get you in the city? Here in Kidapawan, it can bring you to Climbers Den where it's super cold. Kanina sa baba, room temperature, malala pa si room temperature pagdating namin dito para na kami nasa loob ng freezer. Right? So, Campers then has been around for five years and it's something, it's a place that not many people have discovered yet. And guys, believe me, it's worth the climb. What you're actually hearing is not a real waterfall, but it's the source of the spring water that the, that fills the pools here. Behind me, is a, behind me is a cold spring water pool, and then in front of me are actually hotter or warmer ones. Sandalin yung too big. Actually, we're at the foot of Mount Apa. That's why the water here, there's hot water and there's cold water here also naturally. You know, it's a really nice place aside from the fact that it's cold. It's also actually very private because of the 20 minute drive papunta dito. Not everyone can easily access it, but if you have a car, if you have means to come here, you should, especially because you're only going to spend 35 pesos per person to get in here. So, it should be in your Kidotawan bucket list. Bucket hindi ka pa pumupunta dito. Alright? So, make sure you come and visit. at the start of Bituhang Manok Trail to Marble. Marble River yung nasa baba. Sabi 1,500 steps. Yes, pababa. Eh, paano yung pabalik pataas? So, that's a total of 3,000 steps. For me, a vacation is not a vacation without a physical activity or at least an adventure. Buti na lang naka-sporty attire ako and I am ready to see what Marble has to offer. Let's go! taken siguro mga 300 steps down and you will see behind me <laughs> the crater where the hot water comes from that supplies the hot water to the hot pools of the campers then resort okay so it's very beautiful behind me it's really cold um, I suggest if you want to take the hike down maybe wear <laughs> not shorts all right So actually guys, what we've noticed is, if you look at your sides here, there are all these red plants guiding the path. So in case you find you find yourself lost, you can just look for these red plants and you'll just basically find your way back up. It's like the yellow brick road in the wizarding world of Oz. I Harry Potter. Let's go! Actually, growing carrots dito to my side, and you know it's very common for people to do that because Mount Apo is a volcano, and volcanic soil is said to be the healthiest and the most, uh, the richest type of soil, so you, that you can grow the best fruits. And Kidapawan is actually one of the fruit baskets of Mindanao, so I'm hoping, I'm expecting these carrots will be pretty good. the first set of the 1,500 steps. It was roughly a 20-minute walk, siguro pababa. And 
As you can see, di, di pa ako masyadong pawis. Dahil nga, malamig na malamig siya. Para kang una-una naka-aircon, tapos nag-electric fan ka pa. Ganyan siya kalamig dito. And you see, the water is just actually really tempting. And it also comes from Mount Apple. So it comes from a small spring in Mount Apple. So it trickles down here, it supplies light to so many of us. Right? So guys, I wanna jump in the water already. Because it's going to make the 1,500 steps back up super worth it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm sa hike to go up to the hike and then up Although it was super worth it. So we asked our guides um, where it's nice to eat because we're really hungry. So we are here at Galore Farms. Aside from it being a snack place, it's also a souvenir shop. Right? So the best way to know where it's good to eat is to ask the locals. And this is exactly where they brought us. Enough, yung mga kanain namin today. We're here at another kainan. Yes, guys, hindi ko na ikakahiya. Kakain na naman kami ulit. And we're here at Boyd's Pizza House. It's um, Italian comfort food here in Kidapawan that we honestly never expected to find. But because we have locals as our tour guide, we have found this amazingly cute, Instagrammable place. Trust me, guys, you're gonna love it when you come over here. Make sure you visit, right? So, guys, bahan nita taka kayo. Magisa lang ba ako sa buong show? Actually, hindi. May mga kasama ko. So, they are the local tourist guides that I've been talking about. They're not tourist guides, they're actually my friends. So this is Chidi. She was my classmate sa Mascom in Ateneo. And this is... <laughs> Mr. Sir Tipo Edison. Sir? Okay. Sir, ay, di ba? So, he's the one who's been taking us around Kidapawan because he knows Kidapawan the best. Alright, so we're here at Boyd's. It's uh, Boyd's Pizza House. Uh, it's that's been around for 20 years, guys. For a while, they were in Davao, but for some reason, they're just back here now. And they can tell you more about boys. So... Oh. See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you owner of boys, he's what? Is he a chef? Does he just love food? Why did he get into this whole pizza house thing? Chef, sure. Mm -hmm. He graduated in Culinary Institute of America, yata. America, okay. Yeah, CIA. Right. And loves food, siguro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to share his love for food with the people of Kitabao. Yeah. yeah. 
guys. Chini, di ba? There's nothing like this in Davao. No. You are authentic Italian, Italian food. Right? Yeah. It's very authentic. Mm. So, we're gonna give, get a taste of this food, guys. We're not gonna talk too much anymore because we're going to eat it. It's hot and hot. I don't know if you can see the beauty of the pizza, the wings, the pasta. Alright? So, yeah, you guys, you better come over to Kidapawan. It's three hours lang na siya na drive, but it's worth it. Siya. Okay? Super worth it. Alright, guys, we're going to eat it. So we are no longer in Kitapawan, but it was just a smooth 20 minute ride and we're here now at New Israel. So I have yet to find out why it's called New Israel, but where we are is an eco park. So we're about to actually um, ride the zip line. So it's the longest zip line. It's longer than the one at Lake Cebu. Lake Cebu is known to be the highest one. So this is the longest one apparently. Alright, so. Because it is an eco park, later on we will see that there are monkeys. Mama ya bahap kainin namin sila. And well, it's just. It's your oneness with nature. You know, it's malabeg. Wrong move than a t shirt ako, but I didn't pack uh, jackets as I was not ready. I didn't think it would be this cold, but indeed it is. So, yeah. The uh, entrance fee is like 20 pesos or something like that. So it's worth it. We're about to give this. Ah, okay. Marami na sila, so bahala na. Apa bitin na lang. Sige, go ayad. It's it's a different experience considering na most of the time your your engagements with animals are uh, barricaded by cages. Pero here, tina mo. They're so it's up close. It's an up close and personal experience with the monkeys. But you know, yeah, cell phone. You don't get to experience them unless you bring bananas. Kasi pag walang food, hindi sila lalapit sa inyo. So the interaction is solely based on your capacity to feed them. Ang hawag, wala akong bambu. Dami na nila, look! Ay, si Baby! Ang kasama ko po ngayon si Sir Dodo. He'll be the one to tell us about New Israel. Sir Dodo, you are the uh, a uh, former former Barangay Kawad. Okay, former Barangay Kawad. So the director spoke ko karon diri ma'am sa ko ang computer siya. Good. All right. So sir, uh, nagkataka lang kami bakit siya New Israel. Ano pong history ng pangalan? Yeah, uh, ano ni ma'am ano ni ano? Bible gikoan mo na mo sa Bible ma'am. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sa Bible, naga, nakaingo dito nga uh, kung ang unang pakiksaad, sa ito pa yung Old Testament, mm -hmm. ang unang pakiksaad, kung wala pa kulang, wala pa makaplagi kulang, wala unta pagpangitay, dapat alam siya kaduha mo nang naibago mo. Ah, okay. Pero kinsa'y nag-decide New Israel ang ipangalan sa lugar dito? Si Katong Pander na mo diri ma'am sa Juan, diri sa uh, New Israel, si Reverend Maximum Sangro Pidernas. 
Okay, si Reverend. Maximino Sandok Givernas. 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 Mahirap yung pangalan niya, mahaba. Max. Mm. Okay, Reverend Givernas. All right. Si Reverend Givernas, nandito po po ba siya? Is he still around? <coughs> or? Sorry ma'am, katay na ma'am. Ah, okay, so malangit na si oh. Sir. Ah, okay, yeah. sige. Ang gadala ron niya, ang gadala ron niya, di rin ma'am, sa amu ah. Muna na iyang anak na mo ay, amu ang gihitoboy nga, Supreme President sa mm. kinatibukan na mo di rin sa Iglesia ni Juba Mukado Alpanida. Ah, okay, I see. Forty-one steps up. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Nandito na kami ready to makai the longest zip line in the Philippines, guys, and one of the longest in the whole of Asia. Hindi naman ako takot. Hindi nervous lang ba kama hulo? Pero I'm so ready, guys. Ready na ba kayo? Marini ka mga sigaw ko. Hindi. Pero let's go. Kuya, kabitan mo. Kabitan. Sige. Pre, 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 The two sets of zip lines. Pero masaya siya guys. Super worth it siya. At 400 pesos. Parang 200 per way lang siya. So hindi ka na mapapagod pa baba. Nakakapagod yung pataas do. Pero <laughs> exciting siya. So New Israel is a place that is worth the trip. It's here in Makilala. It's here in Makilala. 
It's just a 20 minute uh, drive up on a cemented road. The weather, uh, it's really cold here. So, kahit napapawisan ka, kahit mag-hike ka pa pataas, okay lang din siya. The view is nothing extremely spectacular, but it's the whole experience of riding the zip line that makes it super awesome. So, for an entrance fee of like 20 pesos per person, okay siya. So, you guys better come. So, guys, kani kani na malamig, malamig, malamig na malamig lang ngayon. It's ano, um, mataas ang sikat ng araw. So, you guys better bring shades also, kalo, and maybe even sunblock if you're sensitive or careful about your skin. So, aside from being an eco park, it's also there's also a trail here. It might take you two to three days to get to the peak of Mount Apo. And according to the locals, our local tour guide, it's one of the better trails now to take because it's the road less taken. So yeah, road less traveled by. Hindi pa dito siya masadong touched. Kumbaga. And uh, yeah, so when you come and visit here, you don't only have fun, but you're also able to help the communities. Um, have a way of living. So you're able to help them maintain their community here. So yes. New Israel Eco Adventure Park. So it's not just an eco park, not just my monkeys or nature show, but there's also an adventure to be had here. After spending the entire morning at New Israel, I think it's time to relax. Unfortunately, yung damit ko pang adventure pa rin, but we are here at Sitio Maupot, a family resort here in Magpet. With me is Miss Alma. Hello! <laughs> She's the manager of the place. So ma'am, it's just quite interesting for me that the name is Sitio Maupot. It's not as attractive, di ba? Pakinggan. Oh. But the place is breathtakingly beautiful. Can you tell us about the word maupot or sitio maupot itself. Okay, uh, maupot is the original name of Magpet. Okay, mm -hmm. sabi nga parang it's lost in translation kasi okay. when they were recording, naging Magpet siya but originally it's maupot meaning mm -hmm. a place of gathering. A place so, of gathering. yun yung original name talaga ng municipality itself. Ah. So, the owners, they decided na parang Bigyan natin ng importance yung original name. That's why mm -hmm. they used Sitio Maupot. Okay. Sitio Maupot. Alright. So, ma'am, um, I think I remember you said kanina, this started just as a private resort. Yes, parang ano siya, place to relax for the family. And then, later on, they decided na to share the beauty of the place. So, they developed it. First, yung for day tour, and then later on, this one, the... Mm -hmm. Bali Village na. Okay, so we're here in the Bali Village where there is an infinity pool. Yes. And then there's also jacuzzi. So next, lower level niya. Kasi what happened guys is that because of the beautiful view, yung side ng mountain? Oh. Are you on a mountain? Para siyang ano, uh, elevated lang siya. Okay. Parang ano, yeah, yung oh. landscape. They took oh. advantage of the landscape and made layers and levels. Yes. Right? So then also lower pa, there's a spa. Yes. So, we'll be able to take you around. We'll show you all of their amenities here. And guys, trust me, you will want to come. You really will. <laughs> yes. Right? So, ma'am, um, you also have rooms for dorm... Uh, you have dorm-type rooms. Yes. You have family rooms. But who usually comes here? Actually, it's a cornucopia of guests. Iba-iba. So, we have sa dorm, um, backpackers, mm -hmm. barkada, and then for the family rooms, we have, of course, family and barkada pa rin. Okay. And then, um, pero yung favorite namin is the presidential suite kasi okay. dun maraming magandang stories eh. So stories may, like? Yung mga couples, ilan ang nag-propose. <gasps> Oo, meron. And then, merong mga, um, meron pa yung, when was that? Nag-apologize sa girlfriend. So may mm. konting wow. drama. Pero meron din family. Meron, okay. may... May couple na meron silang anak, toddler, mm. and sinama nila sa presidential That's suite. Nice. So, because the 
bed is quite big. So, kasha yeah. silang tatlo doon. Yeah. So, yeah. ano talaga siya? Um, hindi mo talaga pwedeng i-box in na for couples lang mm -hmm. or for mm -hmm. family. That's right. Everybody merong place para dito. That's yeah. great. So, also sa inyong price list no, or yung packages, you also offer a steak dinner. Yes, for the presidential suite. Inclusive na doon yung steak dinner and then the traditional massage and buffet breakfast. Okay. Yes. So guys, unfortunately, they're actually very fully booked. Mahirap makapasok dito kahit walk-in lang. Right? So ma'am, if you're a walk-in, how would we go about or if we want to reserve a visit, um, come over. We have a booking office, mm -hmm. and I can give you the number okay. right now. Ah, sige, sige, we'll flash it on the yes, screen. Yes, oh, ah, sige, diba? ganun na lang para mas makuha nila. And then, sa Facebook, Sitio Maupot. So, walang ibang ano kundi, Sitio Maupot lang yung nakalagay sa Facebook. So, um, active naman always. So, okay. merong sasagot doon ng queries nila. Mm -hmm. So, and... Um, weekdays, medyo maluwag. So, okay. if they have time, they can come here on weekdays. During the Tapos, months. pero weekends, you have to book in advance. There you go. <laughs> so, nakita ka may signs labas, parang strictly no walk-ins. Diba? Yeah, kasi sometimes, they just get disappointed eh, when they mm -hmm. come here and then book na kami. So, para, okay, they just call before yes. muna they come over. That's right. Because guys, the rooms here are like really of best value if you come to Davao you will compare na talagang iba yung price range here it's like it's really bookable highly bookable yun na lang siya yes. diba? <laughs> so worth talaga worth the trip and everything here from the food service we guarantee good quality there you go guys so Sitio Maupo a very unique name a name yes. you should not forget Here, trying to sum up the wonderful getaway here in North Cotabato. Definitely a trip full of misconceptions because what's there to do in North Cotabato? I mean, who knows what's there to do here? Apparently, you have campers then, then there's New Israel, and we're here in an infinity pool in Sitio Mokpo. Guys, it's just, it's heaven here. You better come. North Cotabato is definitely the place to be. You need to relax, chill out, and just get away from the city. Alright, I'm getting away. Bye.